Good Friday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, we made it to the end of another week. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Friday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Taganovich, and in today's entertainment spotlight, you may be part of my conversation with entrepreneur Tommy Patterson discussing the year that's been 2021. Enjoy today's program. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with their Friday headlines. In national news, Kim Potter guilty of manslaughter and Dante Wright's death. A suburban Minneapolis police officer who said she confused her handgun for her taser was convicted of manslaughter Thursday in the death of Dante Wright, prompting tears from the man's parents and a jubilant celebration by supporters outside the courtroom who chanted guilty, guilty, guilty. The mostly white jury deliberated for about 27 hours over four days before finding former Brooklyn Center officer Kim Potter guilty of first degree and second degree manslaughter. Potter, 49, faces about seven years in prison under the state sentencing guidelines where prosecutors say they would seek a longer term. The judge ordered Potter taken into custody and held without bail pending sentencing on February the 18th. Potter had been free on $100,000 bail posted in last April after she was charged, which was three days after she killed Wright and a day after she quit the police force. As she was led away in handcuffs, a Potter family member in the courtroom shouted, Love you, Kim. Potter's attorneys left the courthouse without commenting and didn't immediately respond to phone calls or emails from the Associated Press. Outside the courtroom, dozens of people who had gathered erupted in cheers, hugs, and tears of joy as the verdicts were read. A New Orleans-style jazz band played when the Saints come marching in. Two men jumped up and down, holding one another's shoulders, and then other people began jumping up and down and chanting, Guilty, guilty, guilty. They chanted, Say his name, Dante Wright. Some held yellow signs that said guilty in large block letters. And more national news, jurors review recordings of Holmes' boast to investors. Jurors in the fraud case of former Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes asked Thursday to replay audio recordings of Holmes boasting to investors about Theranos' progress toward developing a potentially revolutionary blood testing technology. In those recordings from December 2013, which were played earlier in the trial, Holmes talked up partnerships with established drug companies that didn't pan out and contracts that never materialized because of problems with Theranos technology. Jurors are weighing the case after a three-month trial that captivated Silicon Valley, featuring testimony from 32 witnesses, including Holmes, and more than 900 exhibits. If convicted, the 37-year-old Holmes could face up to 20 years in prison. In more national news, New Year's Eve and Times Square are still on with smaller crowds. Revelers will still ring in the new year in Times Square next week. There just won't be as many of them as usual under new restrictions announced on Thursday as the city grapples with a spike in COVID-19 cases. Viewing areas that normally accommodate about 58,000 people will be limited to about 15,000 to allow for more distancing, and everyone in attendance must show proof of vaccination and wear a mask, Mayor Bill de Blasio said in the news release announcing the changes on Thursday. There is a lot to celebrate and these additional safety measures will keep the fully vaccinated crowd safe and healthy as we ring in the new year, de Blasio said, noting the city's success in getting residents vaccinated while also keeping businesses open. The added precautions for New Year's Eve in Times Square were spurred by the rapid spread of the Omicron variant in the Big Apple, where lines for testing have snaked around blocks in recent days. In business news, stocks soar, IPOs explode, and crypto goes wild. Wall Street delivered another strong year for investors in 2021 as a resurgence in consumer demand fueled by the reopening of the global economy pumped up corporate profits. As of December 22nd, the S&P 500 had risen 25%, its third straight annual increase. Along the way, the benchmark index set 67 all-time highs. The market weathered a number of challenges along the way, skyrocketing inflation, worldwide supply chain disruptions, and a global economy still vulnerable to the uncertainty created by the COVID-19 pandemic, fueled market volatility, especially toward the end of the year. Wall Street got a boost from the Federal Reserve, which kept its key short-term interest rate near zero all year. That helped keep borrowing costs for companies low and stock evaluations high. And finally, in entertainment news, football and reality competition conclusions dominate TV. Football and other forms of televised competition, the season finales of some popular reality shows, dominated the Nielsen Company's weekly list of the most popular shows on television this week. Four separate NFL games 
from Nielsen's list of the most popular programs in prime time as its typical NBC Sunday night game, most recently featuring New Orleans surprise shutout of the Tampa Bay Bucks, topped the list. NBC's The Voice, CBS's Survivor, and Fox's The Masked Singer all crowned winners this week and had fans tuning in. The Voice, with 7.3 million viewers for the first of two parts on Monday, at the highest numbers. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Shake yourself loose from the grip of the ego. The ego's grip is an illusion. It controls your choices. The ego attempts to keep God and your true success away from you. Your ego wants your life journey to pretend to go along peacefully. It allows your motives, judgments and expectations to guide your intentions. You are perfectly happy with your ego just as long as everything goes your way. Real life just doesn't happen this way. At times you may find yourself in this happy-go-lucky place when life throws a curveball. This is God's way of keeping you in balance and keeping your ego out of balance. These hard knocks are learning lessons. They are in your life to teach you to choose differently, stay humbled, letting go of your ego mind. You are a very small part of the world God created, and you exist to aid in the healing of our world. Today, understand joy exists within you, whether things go your way or not. And enjoy the day. Entrepreneur Tommy Patterson is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight. We're here on Conversation Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Entrepreneur Tommy Patterson joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about the year that's been 2021 and the reflection of his journey. Here's a bit of our conversation. Tommy, I want to talk about reflection for a moment. We're at that time of year, I think. I've been doing it more so that, I mean, now that we're kind of able to have the time to kind of slow down a little bit and kind of reflect on the series of events over the past 12 months, what has it been like for you to kind of reflect on this year and the journey that got you here? Yeah, man. uh, Actually, I I love that question because this is the best time of year to reflect about what you've been able to get accomplished, uh, you know, all of your victories and more importantly, all of the failures, right? Because uh, it's it's through the process of failing that we learn and that we grow as individuals. Uh, And, you know, for 2021, you know, for a lot of people, uh, it was a it was a challenging year coming out of a crazy year, a pandemic right in 2020. And you had all of this uh, uh, influx of cash into the marketplace. And for a lot of e-commerce businesses, they did really, really well. Uh, and going into 2021, it's kind of been flipped upside down and it's kind of the exact opposite effect. Uh, but in all of that, um, I think that there were some major, major victories that, that we had as an organization, as a company. And I know for myself personally, greatest year of my life i turned 40 years old i'm in the best shape of my life and and you know i think it's all about how you choose to interpret uh every single day uh and uh you know if you're focused on the right things you're always winning cyrus webb conversations daily news we thank you all for tuning into this edition of conversations daily news we'll be back with you guys on monday with more news truth of the day with mary ellen Teganovich, and of course your entertainment spotlight until then i'm your host cyrus webb saying as always Enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daily News today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.